Hello and welcome to part number C, somewhat of lesson number 3.2. We will talk about geometry um, styles in this case, or let's be precise, the geometry generator. If you have uh, listened closely to the last lesson, we were we were mentioning this already, but what is it in the end? As we have described in the earlier videos, um, a vector layer always consists of of a geometry. A geometry can be a single point feature with a latitude and longitude, a line feature, so a list of ordered points, or a polygon, which is somewhat a very long line that meets its beginning in the end. So in the end there are points involved. The geometry um, generator takes this and says, okay, you would like to have access to the geometry part of the vector layer and do something with it. So the very, very easiest way is to say, well, just read the geometry and respond with the geometry. That means that show me the geometry. So, and this is the case here. If I switch over to geometry generator and there is a formula involved here, dollar means take a look at the variable geometry say apply nothing has changed right everything is still the same but what is happening when i'm choosing multi-point and say then geometry let's try this out nothing happens because of course the geometry type is of type polygon and if it tries to inter in, interpret the polygon as a point it has a problem but you can overcome this problem by saying well let's create or calculate the centroid of the polygon feature and create a point with that. So we are using geometry type is point. So you can see it now simple marker over here. If I go to simple polygon, then it has a problem to interpret this. We'll go create or calculate the centroid of the geometry and reply to the map canvas with a simple marker apply this and now what we can see is if you look closely here this is the water area we have a centroid exactly at the center of the polygon as we have done before we can also add a simple fill just move that down so we have that move up and move down button here simple fill we can create a simple fill below the feature itself so Let's create a more greenish tone here. Okay, say apply. And now you can see you have the base pattern, which is a simple fill, and you have the point pattern or the geometry generated pattern of type point here as a simple mark. And once we have the simple marker layer, you can also play around with that. Of course, you can apply some different um, different styles here to the simple marker. You can increase the size and so on. But what is also important is, of course, you can play around with that a little bit. So let's visualize the upper right corner with the geometry generator. Therefore, we will create a point and um, We will create a point and this belongs to we will respond with a formula i'll just press on expression dialog then there are some expressions here you can uh, have a look at them but we will search for an expression that deals somewhere with points and there's an I've already uh, worked on this prior so there's a function called make point and make point takes coordinates x y and optional elements that and m so an x coordinate of a point or a y coordinate of a point and yeah returns a point geometry from that and the input or the coordinates for that make point statement are the maximum numbers of x so the maximum longitudes of the geometry and 
the maximum latitude of the geometry. Just press on OK. There it is. Apply. And now all the points are not in the center, of course not, but they are on the upper right corner of my geometry. Sometimes this fill fell or falls inside the geometry, but in most cases it is outside of the geometry. So that's it for the geometry generator um, symbol layer type. See you soon with part D, which deals with creating your own SVG in Inkscape. And this is an optional um, part of the lessons. Thank you so much. Take care and goodbye.